God bless you. I want us to open the Bible and I share with you scriptures. I want us to go to the Bible and I share with you scriptures. I want us to go back to the old scripture. John 3.16. John 3.16. I want to read that verse. You listen to it. It will really teach you something. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let me read it in Amplified Bible. It says, For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten son so that whoever believes and trusts in him as a savior shall not perish but have eternal life. Can we just pray? Thank you Lord for your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have read this verse and I found that most of the time we don't understand it. This is a message of forgiveness. Just write ability to forgive. Ability to forgive. You could see that when God gave love was a reason that he has forgiven us. I want to tell you that God forgave us, but he doesn't care how you live after he gave you that love. Sometimes, you know, you question the people when they talk about it, we are Christians and they are still sinning. What God did was he forgave you. Where we have read, the Bible says he prized. He presented his son. That if you are aware of his love he showed you that forgiveness will work in you one of our problem is we are not aware of the love he gave listen the love came after forgiveness in other words what God did there was he forgave you before you ask forgiveness. Tell about God forgave you before you ask forgiveness. And he gave you a price which is the blood of Jesus. That the moment you are aware of his forgiveness because of his the blood of Jesus will cleanse you. So our challenge is many times when people forgive us we think we need to impress them. Or we need to show them that they've forgiven us. So today, today, I'm going to tell you that he doesn't care. After he forgave you, how you live. Because what matters on you is the love he put in you. Once you consider it when it has been given by forgiveness, automatically the character will change. Your, your life will be different. 
I'll tell you that the reason why God did that. Ke tala bo tsho le bakala hore modima die ka mogwao. God wanted to teach us so that we must also have ability to forgive. Modimo na re ro tore le rena re ba le bogone ba o lebalela ba bang. I found that without forgiving others. Ke tsotso re a re sa gone o lebalela ba bangwe. Which God did for us. Ntwe modimo re di reaching yona. We can be Christians. Re ka se bitswe ba pholoswa. Listen to this. I told you that he doesn't care how you live. Ke le bodi tsa ka re hana ta bo re wena o phela bo phelo ba ga o jwa. But he has forgiven you. Mara o le baletse. You can still carry on. O ka no tswela pele. O dira sebisa ga o bolela maka. But forgiveness has been given. Mara o le balela gona go setse o filwe. But the judgment will come of I gave you love. Ga tlo e tata a ifita e tara ke le file le rato ka mara. I forgive you. Ka le le balela. But you have done nothing about. Mara wena wa di a silo ka o le balelwa hola. Is when it will be the last day. Ke e tla ba le tshela le la matlama la mafelo. It doesn't care. Tsa no mara ana tsona ha na taba. How you live your life. Ore wena bo phelo ba ga o botsa ra jwa go phela. It doesn't care. Motimo ha na taba. How you live your life. Ore wena wo phela bo phelo ba ga o jwa. You just decide. O no decide. You can decide to save. Oh, when I cannot decide to dear save. Decide to live a holy life. What decide of pila bo pila bo bo khetwa? When you are aware of the forgiveness you have been given. Ha o le mo hi le tebalelo yela o filweng yona. You can alter your life and begin to change to live the way you please the one who forgave. O ka change bo pila ba ga o ba botswa kanya gore bo te bo khathe yola a o fileng tebalelo. If you forgive me. Ha o le balela nna. After I hurt you. Kamara o roku ku xe botoko. You are teaching me not to hurt you again. O ntota o re ke o ska o ku xe botoko ha beedi. You are correcting me in other words. Wamposulla. The message of forgiveness. Mo laita o le balela. Is to say you can do it again. Go bole la oru ka kona o le balela ha beedi. You can do it again. O ka le balela ha beedi. You can correct your life. O ka posulla bo pilo ba ha. And live better again. Wa pila ha ka une ha beedi. So same applies to you. So ntwe dia gana le mo go reina. You have been given the love in our hearts. Re filwe le ratolela ka ra dipilo. So that we will be able to forgive those who hurt us. O re te re kona le balela ba ra ba re ku xeng botoko. That's where Christianity will be complete. Ke mo pholoso e felelang ona e fitha. Let me show you the scripture. E re ke le bontsheng le ngwalo. In 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7. Ba Korintha ba Mathomo 13:7. You know when the Bible talks about love can bear all things. Le bolela ka le rato le o gone wa moela ka o fela. You can go through all. O ka tsena ka ra tsona ka moka. Meaning that Christianity is not easy. O ra re pholoso ye a ino ba bonolo fela. But breakthrough is when you are able to forgive. Mara o phunyeletsa ke o gone wa lebalela fela he. Verse 7 mama it says. It loves bears all, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Endures all things. E khotalela ka moka. Listen, it is not easy to forgive others if you cannot endure. A o khonagalo ba o bonolo le balala ba bangwe o sa khone o khotalela. You know there are some people that they can do whatever they can do to you but ona le batho ba ka o diang se ba ka o diang sona mara try to do a mistake to them le ka o no dia phosonya na fela mo go bona they've experienced endurance on you ba se tshe ba o khoteletse o likane they are aware that you can endure ba tshe bo re wa gona o khotelela but they cannot even endure anything from you mara ba gona o khotelela wena ha o dia dilo go bona so the Bible says love Best all. Other words, after the love when it works in you, it makes you to forgive all. When you are pressurized, you can still move forward. When you are pressurized, you can still move forward. When you are pressurized, you can still move forward. When you are pressurized, you can still move forward. Listen. Uh, no one will cause temptations. Aona motho ka tsang moleko unless it's not sended. Ka nta o raska ba rumilwe. Satan will be cause of that person. Satan o ta ba le yena ya rumetseng motho. Many of us we don't know that it's people we live with. 
That will be judged by how we respond to them. People you live with. They're the ones that you'll be judged by how you responded to them. Others they hurt you. Forgive them. You must bear all. You must be able to endure. Listen. Your ability of endurance makes you to have a right expression to that pain. You'll be able to answer accordingly and still stay connected in the relationship with Christ. One of our challenges today is when we fail to bear, we lose control. That is why Satan knows where he can get That's us. That's why Satan has to go to our guy. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I say, my friend. Bear all. Bear all. Bear all. Bear all. So today is the day that you must learn how we overcome by forgiving others. That's why you need to overcome your enemies by having ability to forgive them. Or let me say, you overcome your enemies by having ability to forgive them. So you can bear all. Look when Jesus was on earth in Mark 2. If we read from verse 1 to 11. From verse 1 to 11. We found Jesus. When he was ministering. And the Bible says. They lowered a paralyzed man. When Jesus looked at the man. He realized that this man has sinned against him. Let me try to say something that we have not learned there. Jesus was not wrong to say, I forgive you your sin. This man might have spoken against Jesus. And he got paralyzed. So now Jesus, when he look at him, he had compassion with him. And he say, No, God, yes, I see this man. What is the solution of his paralysis? It's when I forgive him. But people were listening, they say it's only God who can do it. I want to tell you why these people say it's only God. Because they have been offending many people. You know, when you start to do things and you justify yourself, you tend to justify yourself and protect yourself. When these people were listening, they say, hey, why this man say he can forgive sins? Because they were avenging the avenging. They were fighting others who still in sin. You know, if you can just ask some people in church sometimes, why are you committing fornication? You hear some people say, it's not only me, everyone is doing it. So these people were saying the same thing. They say, hey, it's only God who can live a holy life. It's only God who can forgive sins. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to this. If you reach a level where you put God there and you're somewhere, it means you're not a Christian. 
We need to reach a level where when we talk about God, we are not separated with Him. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell anybody, say, my friend, don't reach a level where you just caught God there. Reach a level where you and God cannot be separated. So now, if you read here, Jesus said, I have forgiven you your sins. But when they were trying to argue about that, he showed them that it's a sin that has caused that man to be that way. And also shows that it's only when you forgive that God will give you ability to do things that other people cannot do. He said to that man, rise up and walk. And the Bible stood up and everybody was wondering. Listen, forgiveness gives you ability to do things that other people cannot do. Where you find in all other people can fail, but you succeed. If you have ability to forgive, you will also have ability to do things that other people cannot do. Jesus proved by saying, rise up and walk. There are some people here, you are failing somewhere. But can I tell you this? You are limited because you are failing to forgive. The ability you receive of forgiving others can make you to break that limitation. Some limitations we have established around us because we put people in our hearts. Remove them and put Jesus. When you pray, you will see answers. Can you tell somebody to say, hey, why are you failing to forgive? Why are you failing to forgive? Once you have this ability to forgive, you'll be surprised when you think it is no longer you thinking. When you talk, it's no longer you talking. It's God speaking. I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you're hearing me. Look at these scriptures. If we read 2 Corinthians 2 from 9 to 11. 9 to 11. Just read that verse. 2 Corinthians. I will give you some scriptures. From 2. Chapter 2. 9 to 11. 9 to 11. For to this end I also wrote that I might put you to the test whether you are obedient in all things. Now, whom you forgives anything, I also forgive. For I indeed, I have forgiven anything. I have forgiven that one for your sake in the presence of Christ. Lest Satan should take advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. I want you to note the last part of that scripture. Can you read that verse again, Mama? But let's note the last part of it. Verse 9. Yes. For to this end I also wrote that I might put you in the test yes. whether you are obedient in all things. Now, whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For I indeed I have forgiven anything. I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ. Lest, in the, in, lest Satan should take advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. For we are not ignorant of his devices. When, when Paul was talking with these people of Corinth. He said, when you forgive, I do that. But I knew what Paul was saying. Paul was not referring to them. 
is when they were worrying about him and the people were offending him. He said, he, he brought it to them that if you forgive, even me, for the sake of you, I forgive. But he ended up saying, even myself, if they offend me, I forgive them, even you, you must do the same. Because Satan have got these devices. He, he can make you to protect me not away. Okay, I'm asking God forgiveness for forgiving them. But you are fighting for me. I don't, I don't know if you're hearing me. So Paul was saying here for the sake of Satan not to find opportunity to attack. When you forgive, I forgive. But also, can you forgive those who? who otherwise, you are still in sin. If you are fighting those who are, are fighting again, because I have forgiven them. I don't know if you are here what I'm trying to say. Many times, we are failing to forgive others. Whereas the people who have been offended have forgiven them. Many times we love to fight wrong battles. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because someone has affected your brother or your sister. That person is also affecting your relationship with God. This is the time that you know that particular person, you forgive him he even before he asks forgiveness, forgiveness to your brother. I, I don't know if you're hearing me. It's the best weapon of allowing God to deal with it. Listen, listen. You cannot deal with anybody because you have not created anyone. I don't know if you're hearing me. But if you forgive someone, you are allowing the battle to be of God. If you want to allow the battle to be of God, can you just forgive them? Forgive in this, those ones who have offended your mother. Those who have offended your brothers and sisters. I'm not saying live with them. I say they must not affect your relationship. Yeah, forgiveness means the relationship with God must be established. Don't allow anybody to separate you with Jesus. In Matthew 6, 14 to 15, just go to that verse and read. I will allow Mama to read all this verse. Jesus. It says, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you, forgive your trespasses. Okay, stop there, Mama. I want to take you to that verse with reading of certain devices. As God used people, I don't know if you're hearing that. Listen to this. If you want to see how Satan used people, just check how people are living with you. The devices that the Bible is talking about is he will offend you by the people you love most. One time I was questioning why Jesus when he saw Judas, now he said, there comes my friend. You know, I was questioning that. I found that Jesus never wanted to be offended. He knew why he was there. Sometimes we are so challenged because we forget ourselves and our assignments. If we understand ourselves, no one will take us away from God. Devil can use your brothers and sisters. Devil can use your children. People in the church 
conquering king. People who call themselves servants of God. Everyone. But don't forget to stand your ground. Because this is devil devices. Listen, when you forgive someone, you are also praying to God to forgive you. The moment when you say, I've forgiven this person, when you say that, it's a prayer of forgiveness to God for you. How do you pray? The way you respond to others, that's how you pray. Can you tell about the way you respond to others is the way you pray. Listen, prayer is not People, everybody can talk. There, there are people who can talk the whole night. I don't know if you're hearing me. But if you are talking, is contrary with your actions. That talking is invalid. When we read here, we see that by forgiving others, you are asking God to forgive. So look at the device I want to talk about. Listen, automatically, when Satan wants to use this device, he will turn around to the people you love most. So that you will be offended and fail to forgive. I don't know if you're hearing me. He will turn around and find the one you trust The most. moment when you see that, it means you are on the right track with God. So don't lose it because of any action you are experiencing. Our challenge today is when we are disappointed by the people we love, we forget that God is watching. And because those people were not there before when you were there. If you reach a level where you learn that they were not there before you were there, you will understand that it's God who brought them or Satan brought them to you. I don't know if you are hearing me. So you must check the devices. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me give you an example. I want to give this example by, by David. I spoke this thing several times. That when David, when he was moved away by Absalom, there was a time whereby you could just see that David was very tired. But I will tell you what happened from David where he was until he reached Jordan. I'm going to read the Bible, but I will tell you. The Bible says, Bible. David, David, he was moving towards Jordan. And always, you know, Jordan is a place of separating the past and the future. And when David was moving, he was running away from his son Absalom. Absalom. Listen, on the road, he met a man. And this man was throwing stones. David stood there. When he stood, the people around him began to complain. Listen, in your life, there's this situation where sometimes you stop because of the stones that are coming. But your response, I caught it. Your stopping is not important. Listen to this. Sometimes God can stop you for a certain reason so that you observe. When, when David observed around, he began to see his shime. He began to see Shime throwing stones. You know what David said there? He said, no, it might be God who's allowing this stupid man to throw stones to me. Why? Because this man, if he knows me, he can't throw stones. So it might be God. So what I can do, I need to move Towards Jordan. Jordan. Because if I stay here, I will 
end up being annoyed. Let me keep on moving. But there were people around him say, oh, no, David, we can't turn to us she may. If we turn to us she may, we are no longer going to Jordan. Can I tell you this? Many times we turn because of the attentions of the foolish people. We forget to move to us to Jordan. But if we can move and we will be fresh when we reach there. The Bible says David was refreshed when he reached Jordan. Listen to this. When Shimei was throwing stones, you know what David said? He didn't say maybe he's God only. When this man said, is his uncle, he said, let me go and cut his head. Let me just go and remove. In other words, this man was so weak. I mean, he was so useless. He could not do anything than to affect the attention of David. Can I tell you this? Many times, there are some people who just come your way so that you stay with offenses and you fail to forgive. They take your attention and you focus on them. Can I tell you this? Stop focusing on one people. Keep on moving. Just focus on them. Your brushing them aside. When you forgive them, you are moving forward. When you forgive them, you are brushing them aside. Just as I say, hey, I'm forgiving you. It means I'm brushing you aside. Can you tell your neighbor that? I'm forgiving you. That means I'm brushing you aside. And I'm moving forward. I'm going on. As I'm moving forward, I will reach a place where I will be refreshed. Listen, people are coming to put something on you. What you were thinking about yesterday is the pain and how to endure it. But by forgiving them, you remove that pain and move forward. Listen, the same Shimei could not last long. He was useless. He was throwing stones. He could not even last long. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me give you another example. Can I give you another example? Of the same David. What a fit I know. Amen. There was a man called Nabal. Nabal. When David was in the bush, the The Bible says when he was there. They were taking care of the sheep of Nabal. Nabal is a fool. He was married to a wise lady called Abigail. But one day, when David realized he has helped this man, he did everything so that Nabal will just remain as a rich man. What maintained Nabal was the anointing upon David. Because when they were in the bush there, I don't know if you're hearing me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When the, in the bush there, there was some fight, but, but there was David and his servants. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. So the anointing maintained. It maintained all the, the sheep. And when they were maintained, the one who was maintained could not even perceive what, what was happening in the bush. Sometimes, there are some people you help, they are not even aware. David could not even go to David and say, hey, I'm doing the best for you. You cannot respond the way you are responding. You cannot behave the way you are behaving. And the Bible says, one day they say, let's go and find something. Let's find bread. bread. Just bread. We fought for this bread. Love for your Love for a loaf of bread. We just eat. And look what happened. They went there. He sent some people. When they were there, look what this 
Nabal answered. When they reached, they say, Hey, Master, we have got our master. master we won't but unfortunately, he's not in the city. He's a master in the bush. In other words, he's not yet been manifested. Because sometimes when people are not yet manifested, we treat them somehow. And we don't care how, how they respond. And the Bible says, they say, he asked for a bread. This man who is, who is he? I'm a rich man here. In the city. Who is he that he can just, he might have run away from his own master and try to start a church in the bush. So now when he started the church in the bush, he wants something from me that the prayers of David were sustaining someone in the city. I don't know if you are hearing me. And the Bible says, David was anointed. He took a shot and he said, today I have done everything for this man. I have prayed and we risk our lives for him. Then we go and kill him. When they were moving, Abigail had that the man who was in the bush was the one that was taking care of the riches they were having. And Abigail said, hey, give me this. I want to meet the man of God. And when he just took, he took it, 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 he Oh my God. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. You know, you must read the Bible. No, the Bible, Bible says when she Here saw Bible David, she ah, came out from pizza. a caiman, from a donkey, and, and she kneeled down and, and, and said, I know I have been sent to you. My husband is a fool. That is why he's offending that is why you. Offending you. Why Forgive that fool. And I accept and what I'm, I'm giving you. Just accept because God doesn't want no, you to avenge oh, by your hands. You you don't need to do that. Abigail was wise. She advised the man that he must not fight by himself. He must forgive. He took everything and he went back. And the Bible says later, the same wise lady, when the fool died, because that's how you fight a fool, the fool will die by his activity. The fool won't last. He won't respond to a fool. Forgive that fool. You see, Abigail was wise. She was able to be aware of the anointing of the the man who was not in the throne. Who was in the bush. Listen. Today I want to teach you something. Reach a level where you become wise. You find a revelation of understanding people. Not because of where they are. But by what God placed on them. If you reach that level, you won't make mistakes. Because many people you have offended Many people you could not forgive who hurt you, you could not forgive. And many have offended you. You leave them as they are because they were useless. And nothing can come to stop your life. As I'm here today, there is someone who is listening to me. You are offended. But I'm here to tell you when you forgive, you are opening a door for you to move forward. I see a door open and I see you moving forward. Tell yourself, I won't die where I am by this fool. The Bible said the fools, they say there's no God. You know God. You can move forward without shame. You can move forward. Brush them aside and take over. Brush them aside and take a step forward. I see victory on your side. Praise the Lord. I just want to not to talk too much, but because if I talk too much, you will think you will think 
given me a mind to forget. You know, most of the time, I even forget there was a who. You know, think about what about what you did. If I can forget that you were there. What about what you did? If you reach that level, you can be matured in Christianity. But look here, in your mind is occupied by people. When you open your mouth, you are talking about When is it that you are going to forgive them and you live your life? These people are offending you. They sleep well. Because it's their nature. I don't know if you hear me. People, others are created just to Destroy. Destroy. Some people are just created. They can be found anywhere. Including in the church. Sometimes you find people, I mean, affecting you in a very bad way. You question. I used to think. I used to think. Hey, stop thinking. Stop thinking. Live a Christian life. Now, most of the time you say, I used to think that person was a Christian. I used to think, can we just leave people? You know why they are there? So that you will be tested on the relationship with Jesus. Maintain it. Maintain your strength and forgive them. How can you pray with them? Look what Jesus said. He said, before you offer anything on the altar, if there is someone in your heart, if there is anything, go and fix it first. Why? Because whatever you do there, it will be called zero. How many zeros you are doing? Before you worship God, before you give offering, before you stand in the house of God, and there is something with another person, Go and fix it. If you want to mean what you are meaning when you come to me something in the altar. Let me prophesy someone who is listening to me. When God is speaking with you today receive this opportunity and the ability to forgive. Remove it from your mind. Take it out of your heart. You will be sustained. I see God sustaining you if you believe shout out devil is crafty devil he can use your children if your children to test your Christian life your co-workers you find that you are working with people that you can even greet. When you are there, when you are, you are just saying, oh God, oh God. Oh, oh. And the person passes here. And the person says, call it a kiss. It, it have got the same sound. When the person says, they say, hey, how are you? God is good today. Because some of you, Satan close you in by the people around you to offend you so that you cannot minister or reach out. If you cannot reach out, it means you are in stagnation. I don't know if you are hearing me. Some of you, have, there are walls around you. Your neighbor, this one, can speak with you. That one can speak with you. So that you must never reach out. They use a small thing to hold you so that you must never speak anything to I don't know if you're hearing me. I want to tell you something you don't know. 
the degree cielo the people sabatu the way they offend you ka mogoba o gopisha i want to say something like that inyoko bolela ntle o swana leo it determine your spiritual life in the e bon tshore bo phelo ba ha o moreneng bo fitha kae when people offend you aba tiba go gopisha and you are failing to forgive when i wapala go le balela it means you are not moving you are in one place ora ore a o itsa mai o tutu tshi tlo ngete so your maturity is determined so by how you forgive so you don't want to go le balela ha ka ka i don't know if you hear me hallelujah the moment when you pray for them forgive them na go ya go ba le rapelela o ba le balela you will hear a story i'm telling o ta kwa dita you will hear your enemy cry o ta kwa le na ba le lla and when he's cry you need that god please forgive i forgive even that person you will hear another shambok boom ta kwa shambok yeng we fitha if you want to hear your enemy cry how nyoko kwa le na ba le lla just forgive that enemy le ba le lla le na ba wena and speak love to our lord o bolela re mo lena na nka o ba le ba le lle it won't take a week e ka se tshele ka beke i'm telling you now it won't take a week are you don't even take a week e ka se tshele beke i don't know if you hear me ake se ba le ntwa it won't take, you will just hear boom uta kwa fela wo teiwa from the 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 enemy will pretend like everything is fine uta mo le na ba le ta dia o ka re ka o fela ditsa manya botse monana but if you can check mara ha o ka le kula the bible say we must love them bible are ba ra because that's the best way of dealing with them so forgive them if you supposed to love them you cannot love without forgive o ka se rata o sa le ba le i don't know if you are hearing me ake se ba le ntwa Hey. Sometimes I need to, you need to go to a person. I, I love you. you. But I won't do what you are saying. Maranga se dia se o se bolelang o rata o ke rata. You need to read that level. I love you. Ke o rata o ena. But I won't do what you are saying. Maranga se dia o se bolelang o ke rata. I have forgiven you. But I won't do what you are saying. Maranga se dia o se bolelang. I don't know if you are hearing me. I get sebe a o mtwa. Amen. By saying that. Ke o bolela mantshia. You will channel a person to the direction of the Lord. There are some people are listening to me today. You have been hurt several times. Your hurting of several times. Reserve the blessings of all the time. I don't know if you are hearing me. Begin to receive those blessings. Begin to receive those blessings.